Hi, my name is Dr. Mia Park. Have you thanked a bee today? If you haven't, you really should because bees and other pollinators are responsible for much of the food we eat. Did you know that 90% of flowering plants rely to some degree on animal pollinators? Or that many of our favorite foods need pollinators to produce? So who are these important animal pollinators? Well, a pollinator is any animal that moves pollen successfully from plant to plant. The best pollinators are highly mobile. In fact, most of them fly. The more flowers that a pollinator can get to in a day, the more pollination can happen. Most other pollinators visit flowers for nectar, but bees are actively collecting pollen because for a bee, pollen is baby food. Bee plants have brightly colored flowers, like blue, yellow, and orange, that bees can see clearly against the background of green foliage. Not only are bees amazing pollinators, they're the most common pollinators of our agricultural and wild plants. So if we lose bees, we lose a lot of our flowering plants too. But while bees are critically important, they're not the only pollinators. Did you know that bats are the major pollinators of bananas, mangoes, cacao, and guava? Nocturnal bats prefer white flowers that are easier to locate in the dark. Many birds around the world are nectivorous, and they make great pollinators. Hummingbirds are the ones that we're most familiar with. Like the other nectar feeders, most of them have very long beaks and tongues to reach the hidden nectar. So now we have a clear idea of why plants need animal pollinators, but how do they get those animals to do their work? The most important and common rewards found in flowers are food in the form of sugary, rich nectar and protein-rich pollen. Animals have come to rely on these rewards as part of their diet. Flowers cater to the way different animals sense the world. If you were a pollinator, would you be more likely to look for a single flower or a whole patch of flowers? Of course, you'd go for the whole patch of flowers because you'd be more likely to find more flowers with nectar there. Many plants need pollinators to reproduce successfully, and we need them for our healthy fruits and vegetables. You can be a pollination biologist too. Use what you know about how different pollinators perceive the world to start predicting who visits what flower.